Hi Walter, it's Brian. I'm going to show you real quick here how to um, uh, restore a file from Acronis. So first I go down to the Start menu and I fire up Acronis, which on my computer is in a different location than you, but it's Acronis True, Home, True Image Home. And in order to recover a file, I select Recovery, which is right here. And Acronis is going to want to know three things. Um, what, where, what you're recovering from, what you're recovering to, the location, and what exactly it is that you want to recover. So we're going to start off with where we're recovering from. In other words, which file, which backup we're going to be pulling a recovery a file out of. And I, I do my backups on my uh, D drive. Everything under backup. And I'm pretty sure the same is true on your computer. And you'll see that I've got a bunch of um, files here that are all pretty much the same name but have slightly different numbers after them. And these are the sequential files that Acronis creates when it does a backup, uh, um, incremental backup set. Uh, the same sort of situation is true on your computer. You can pick any one of these. Um, I'm just going to pick this one because it's handy. And Acronis will automatically know that that file is part of a larger set. And it will um, show you all the available dates from which you can extract a backup file. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a day that was a while back, July 3rd, say, and go to Next. So now I've done step one. I've told it where the file is coming from, and now I have to tell it which file that I want to restore. So I tell it I want to restore specified files or folders. Click on Next. And I'm going to restore to a new location. If I put it in the original location, it'll tend to overwrite whatever file I have there, which may or may not be what I want to do. But if I put it in a new location, then I can do whatever I want to with the restored file. So I click on Next. And now it's asking me where do you want to put it? The Restore Destination Selection. So I'm going to put it on my computer on the C drive. in the temporary folder and I suggest you do the same but you could put it in any folder and click on next and now it wants to know um, specifically which file you're going to restore I could res just restore the entire C drive but that's a little much I really only want to restore one file and uh, on uh, Windows computers, the user files are all, are all stored in a particular location on the C drive. So here you can see this is the C drive. This is the thing that I've been backing up all along. This is the backup set. So um, I click on C, and um, you can see that there's these little green check marks next to each individual um, file and folder that's part of this backup. I don't want to restore all of them, so I'm going to uncheck um, at the top level. And now nothing's been checked, so nothing gets restored. But I'm going to a particular location. I'm going to Documents and Settings. And I want to go to the desktop under Brian. So Brian is the user. On your computer, it'll probably be Walter is the user. Um, so under Brian on the desktop there's a particular fo file that I want to recover called the Photoshop edit log and next to that edit log I just go ahead and check it green check mark there so now that will be the one file that gets restored and it will be restored into the C drive in the temp folder 
So um, play this back again if you need to to really get it. But you're telling the Akronas what you where you're restoring from. In other words, the backup set that you're restoring from, the location that you're going to restore to, which is on your local hard drive, and then very specifically which file or folder that you want to restore. So having done all those three things, I click Next, and then everything else I'm just going to accept the default settings. Next, Next, and Proceed. Cronus runs, and in a moment it should pop up and tell me that the operation succeeded. Which it did. Now um, I can go to the C drive uh, by going to my computer. Actually, I can just go to the start menu, go to my computer, and so now I'm going to go and find that file that just got restored. Under my computer, it will be on the C drive in the temp folder. So here on my computer, I just select the C drive. Okay. C drive, temp folder. All right, so in the temp folder we see this subfolder called drive C, and this is the folder that's been restored by um, Acronis. It doesn't just restore the, the file that I picked, the Photoshop file. It restores the entire directory structure as well, starting with the C drive, which it names as a folder. So um, inside that, I'm going to show the folder view here so you can kind of see the structure. But here under my computer, on the C drive in the temp folder, there's this folder called Drive C. Um, and underneath that is Documents and Settings, Brian. And under Brian is Desktop. And under Desktop is Photoshop Edit Log. So uh, Acronis did its job and it put it where I told it to put it. Um, the only complexity is this uh, file structure, this folder structure, the hierarchy that Windows imposes on the file. So it is a little tricky to recover to a new location, but if you do, then you have the flexibility to look at older versions of documents that you've been backing up. Okay, that's the instruction. Hope this helps.